Hello everyone. We will continue the topic BAPI. And in the previous video, we created the function module. We finished with the function module part. And when we created the function module, we followed so many prerequisites because whenever we will create a business object, all those prerequisites should be fulfilled. So what is BAPI? BAPI is a function module plus business object. Yes, BAPI is a function module having a business object. So we finished with the function module part. Now we will come on to business object. How to create a business object of the function module. Now, to create a business object of the function module, we will go for now new transaction code and so many learnings will come in this video. So, the transaction code is SWO1. So, we will go to transaction code SWO1. SWO1. This is a transaction code for business object builder. If you remember when we created the classes through SC24 transaction code, the transaction code title is class builder. We created the classes through SC24. Same thing is here. Whenever we want to display, create business objects, we will use the transaction code SWO1. It is the transaction code for business object builder. Now, whenever you are creating a business object through SWO1, the first thing we need to pass is object type, object type. Now, firstly, I will give the name, then I will come on to what is object type. Suppose I am giving the name of the object type as Z employee, suppose, okay? I will click on to create button. Now, what is object type? Object type. It is a internal identification of business object. It is internal identification of business object. Now the question comes, what is, what is the internal identification of the business object? It means if I want to identify my business object in this SAP system itself, I will always, always use this object type. It is internal identification means within this system itself, within this SAP system itself, if I want to identify my business object, I will make or I will identify with the help of object type. Now I will come on to this super type. The word itself is clear. Just compare this super type is just like a super class. Suppose we have a super class. Whenever you are creating a subclass, so what is the benefit? Whatever is in the super class, it will automatically appear in the subclass. Oops, concepts. Yes, inheritance. You are creating a new class from the existing class. Same thing is there. You are creating a new object type using the existing object type. So what will happen? If you will pass the name of the existing object type, then what will happen? Whatever is in that object type, it will automatically come into this object type, just like a object oriented programming. So if you already have a existing object type and you want to reuse the components of that, you can simply pass it here. So it will automatically come into this object type. So what is super type? Super type just clearly saying to inherit the components of existing object type. So to inherit or to reuse the components of existing object type, we can make use of super type. In this particular scenario, we are not taking reference from existing object type. 
So we will keep it blank. Now I will come on to object name. Among all these point, this is the most important one. What is object name? It is a external identification of business object. It is used for external identification of business object. Using this property or using this name, external system can interact with SAP system. Why I am saying it's most important? Because our topic is itself cross application. External system has to, it has to connect with the SAP system. So this name, this name will play a vital role. By many times what happened, people will do the, do the right process. But whenever they are sharing the name, they will share this name, object type. Object type is for the internal identification. External system will not understand. External system will always, always understand whatever you are passing in the object name. So whatever you will pass, external system can connect with the SAP system with the help of this name, only this name. That's why we are saying it's extremely important. Suppose I am giving employee. Now we will go for backtracking of one step. Why I intentionally gave the name employee? Just I will go to SC37 transaction code and you will get more more clear picture. I am going to SC37 transaction code. I am displaying the function module which we created. Just see how we gave the name of the function module. Namespace, BAPI is the keyword underscore business object name underscore method name. So what is your business object name? We gave employee, employee. And at that time, I told you when we create the business object, this again will play a vital role. So what the name I gave, I gave the same to same name. I have not given this name. I gave this name, this name. So this is the most important factor. Yes, it is for internal identification. But this external system will always understand this. And while creating the function module also, we used this name. If I show the slide, which we filled previously followed, Z namespace, BAPI underscore business object, business object. So we use the external identification of the business object. Now we will proceed further. What is the third thing? Third thing is name. It is just a descriptive name of your business object. Suppose I will use same to same thing. So what is name? It is a descriptive name of your business object. Now we will proceed further. We will give that description. Suppose I am saying business object for employee data, for employee. So it is just a description of your object type, business object type. Now I will come on to the program. What is program? In this program, we have the ABAP code of your business object. So I will give some program name and I will show you also that we will get a code there and we can add our code there also. So what is program? So I'll give some program name. Suppose I'm saying ZPRG underscore employee. Okay, it's already existing. So I'll just, suppose I will remove this underscore. So I gave some program name. So what is program? It has the ABAP code of the business object. Now, this application, if you see the F4 of application, you will automatically understand what is our application area, cross application. So what is the summary? What we studied in this particular video? Before that, I will just go for OK. We reached, I'll just save into package. I will click on to save. 
now it has saved so while creating the business object what is the summary of the video so many important points we covered so what is the first thing we gave we gave the object type firstly we went to which transaction code sw01 what is object type it is internal identification of business object what is object name it is for external identification of business object this is internal identification just as of now i will explain expand this and we will explain in the next video just see what the name scp is using it is for external but we gave in the object name object name so this is your internal identification object type this is object name it is for external identification after that we studied what is super type it is just like a super class if you want to reuse the existing object type you can pass in the super type so whatever is in the existing object type it will come into your new object type then what is name name is just like a descriptive name of your business object then we provided that description what is the description of our object type business object type then we gave some program name and this program has the abap code of your business object we gave some program name and we choose the application as star because we are going for cross applications in the next video we will continue this particular topic